Thursday, January 19, 2017. 2017. The End of Electronic Harassment Symptoms The title of this blog is the title of a video I put up on YouTube on January 13, 2017. In the video, I detailed how you can remove a blood infection, fungal infection from your body that acts like an antenna, glue. It allows particles in the environment to stick to your body and then be covered up by layers and layers of invisible, skin-looking film. These ferromagnetic particles, some call them nanos, are responsible for electronic harassment symptoms. The simple system is the sensitizer that makes the body sensitive to electromagnetic signals. 100% of targeted individuals have this infection. 100% of targets that I have worked with personally have this infection. After I got this stuff off my skin, 100% of my targeting symptoms went away. This is not a joke. 100% of my symptoms are gone. I made myself the white rabbit for this. I bled and cracked for it. I lost sleep for it. I obsessed for it. I spent weeks feeling like I had third degree burns all over my body from trying different things. After enough research and hands on experiments, I figured out what it was and what it was doing. I'm passing this information to you. I'm always doing more experiments to find new things and figure out ways to end these issues faster. So please consider donating here. Donate here. Here's the video. The particles you will find within this film can be red specks, blue specks, black specks that look like pepper short, black, wiry fibers clear, white fibers that resemble fiberglass. Other particles can be found as well. Document what you find when doing the treatment. Skin may look dark in areas due to being infested with these particles. It may look like a dark tan, a bruise on the elbow, dark spots on hips, feet, etc. L-O-O-K-O-U-T-F-A Charlie's Pet Particle Expulsion Treatment Outside your body, skin and home. Quit using laundry detergent and always use a dryer. Epsom Salt You will bathe with at least 5 cups of Epsom Salt in the bath every day. You must stay in for at least 30 to 40 minutes. Keep the water as hot as you can stand it. If you can afford to use more Epsom, do it. While on the tub, rub your shins, legs, sides and all other parts of your body with your hands. Usually, between 4 to 7 days, you will start to peel from the baths. It will resemble a sunburn. This is the first sign that this practically invisible fungus glue film which has been on your for years is starting to break up. Don't stop. Keep taking the baths and washing this off. Use something so that the tub drains slowly. Collect what is in the tub, gross, right? You want to analyze it with a magnifier or jeweler's loop. You will see what is trapped against your real skin by the layers of this stuff. Now you are on your way to ridding yourself of your symptoms. Borax. Use it in your laundry. Use a cup in the shower to wash with. You can mix it with palm olive antibacterial dish soap with L-lactic acid. You can also drink borax boron. It's an antifungal and pulls things from the system. Only use a teaspoon or two in 32 ounces of water. The truth about borax is that it's only slightly more toxic than table salt. Bar soap. If you need to use soap, use old school original dial soap. Made with lye. Palm olive antibacterial dish soap with L-lactic acid. Use it on dishes in the shower and as a way to shock this stuff. If you would put this on a troubled area and just let it sit there, it will start to dry up and harden. Two to five days later, if it is bad enough, it can break off in shards. I've included a picture from when I was first treating myself. That broken stuff is the film. My real skin is underneath. That's my armpit. I knew there was something on my skin. But no one else could see it. After I killed that spot, I never got another twitch, thumping, pulsing, zap or vibration in that area again. Same goes for the rest of my body. Hot photo, right? Lime sulfur dip. It's a fungicide. 
you mix 4 ounces to a gallon of water. Spray it on yourself. In the shower is good. Get yourself as soaked and waterlogged as you can in the shower or bath, then spray it on everywhere. You can use it in the tub as well or use it while you are in the shower too. Weaker. Sleep with it on kind of stuff. Honey. Works on the face and everywhere else at night. Good to sleep with. Vicks Vapor Rub. Contains oils that break this fungus down. Not so hardcore, but good to sleep with. Body inside. Bentonite clay. It's a liquid clay. You drink it with water. This stuff is amazing. It acts like a magnet that draws all of this stuff out of the gut. Worth its weight in gold. Use it every day. The first week may make you a little sick, but after that, it's just like drinking milk or anything else. Organic apple cider vinegar. Drink a shot or more every day. Potassium iodide iodine pills or drops. Use them. I use the drops daily as maintenance. Potassium iodide powder. Grade key. To make saturated solution of potassium iodide, SSKI, this is the killer. You will use this to treat sporodrichosis or lymphatic sporodrichosis which is part of the fungal infection you have. Research how to treat sporodrichosis with potassium iodide. You will get your dosages there. This is the assassin that takes care of this infection for good. You will just do maintenance after this. However, it's always good to either use a little or keep some around just in case. Magnesium. Take a good magnesium supplement. Multivitamin. Get a good multivitamin. A good chewable would be best considering everything else that we're pushing through our system. Vitamin B. All you can get. Sun C-H-L-O-R-E-L-L-A. Single celled algae superfood with a split cell wall. Tastes like fish food smells. But is excellent for you. Regenerates you. My mom introduced me to it when I was a kid. She was ahead of her time. Oil of oregano. Kills this stuff dead on the inside. Take gel tabs. They can be popped with a needle and used on troubled spots of the skin. Potassium ASPOROTATE. Get capsules. Take a couple a day. Boron pills and or boron borax. Wonder mineral. Even pulls heavy metals and flowerite from as deep as your bones. But the main reason is that this is a fungicide. Use it. Contrary to popular belief, borax is only slightly more toxic than table salt. So you can take it right out of the box too. Just don't overdo it. Keep your mouth clean. Gargle with mouthwash. Gargle with borax. Just a little. Don't overdo this stuff. Trust me. I've bled and suffered for these experiments. Overdoing it doesn't speed anything up. You'll just get sicker from the Herx reaction. I'll keep adding to this. I'm also working on new things constantly and working on a test that can show that someone is targeted. Yes, a physical test.